every day I come in here and I read a lot of your comments. And I recently did a video where I did the best golf gifts for you. And there were a number of positive comments. Thank you so much for taking the time to leave a remark. And then typically I get stuff like this. Would you possibly do a review of this product or that product? And I got a number of you commenting about this one in particular called the GEM or the G-E-M. So I go and I look it up here on the interwebs and I'm like, oh, fix your golf swing for good. Well, that's fantastic. And I look at this and it looks like a little attachment that you put on your club to help you do a number of things. And it says it unlocks more power, creates a correct wrist hinge, keeps club face square at impact. And what it is, it's a clamp, a connector with a, some rods that you screw into the connector and a ball that goes on the end. And I'm guessing these are all visual aids so that you can control the club face during the swing. That's what it seems like. I'm like, this is basic. Anybody would spend $19.95 on this product. So I'm like, dude, I'm in. Not only do I wanna fix my swing, I wanna help everybody fix their swing. So I love it. Fix my swing, click the button. Let's go buy this thing for $20. Oh, it's $140. It's not $100. It's not $99. It's not $69. It's $140 for a clamp, rod, and a ball. Typically, I'd buy these things to review them for you, but as basic as this is, I think we together can probably make this for like eight bucks. So that is what we're gonna try to do. Let's do it. Ah, oh, this is exciting. Okay, here's what we got. We got that saddle valve and I took it apart in Home Depot just to make sure that the, the needle and stuff would come out. And I think it's even better than, it's gonna be better because we can do more with it. I'll show you. I splurged and I got some bolts here. This one came with, these came with the saddle valve. I felt like they were too long, so I spent a little extra and got some shorter ones. And then my 3 8 little piping here, which is perfect, because this fits on, you could just screw it in that saddle valve and you could cut the lengths similar to the gem thing. So homemade version. Let's see if we can get the saddle valve on our club. Put it on a seven iron. Here we go. This really is the critical piece here. So let's see if we can do that. Saddle the valve, the part with the hole in it, Screw, let's go right under here. This would go on top like so. Oh, that's gonna be great. A little connector on here. And just try to line it up so the club is perfectly. And you have these arrow, these markings here, so you can just put the center on the arrow and then you know it's perfect. There you go. Just tighten these bad boys down. I could have got shorter bolts. Screw those bad boys in. That's pretty good. That's on there. So far, so good. That's a secure fit. It's not that heavy. Obviously, it's gonna have some weight to it, but that might be good to feel a little extra weight on there. All right, now the moment of truce here. This is where we hope it works. Look at, look at that. This is what we're looking for, right there. This has turned out better than I thought. And I've got my little ball cutter. It's really a pipe cutter. So let's just, well, let's see how long those are on the, uh, the website. All right, it doesn't really say how long they are, so we'll just kind of eyeball it here. And I'm guessing that we'll go like, I don't know, that long. Perfect. What? Huh? 
I think we almost got it. We're really close. It needs one more final touch and then we gotta see if it actually works. He was in it, the guy at Home Depot. I, I got this guy, Alvin, at Home Depot and he was looking, I showed him the picture on the website. He's like, old timer guy. And he's slow, but he's like, hmm. He really, like he was invested. So he's like, how about this saddle valve? And then I was like, oh, okay, let's try it. And he rips the bag open. We did all this. Thanks, Alvin. I stole my dog's toy, little football. So we're gonna pop this on here. And you could use a foam uh, golf ball. I think would be perfect. There you go. Let's hit some balls. Now, when I was swinging it, it wobbles a little bit. So I went on the website to see if on their Q&A, customers were asking about the wobble, and they are. They're saying if it wobbles, chances are the club is either too open or too closed at impact. So slow your swing down and get it to a point where it doesn't wobble. And that's the swing you should be practicing. Will this now make me better? That's really what we want to know. But at least I only spent like under $20. Why spend 140 if you can spend 20? Now, let's remember the website claims it unlocks more power, okay? Because you're gonna learn how to release the club head faster through impact. I already felt that. You gotta turn those hands a lot more at impact so it doesn't wobble, okay? So, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but that's what it's gonna force you to do. It creates the correct wrist hinge is what they're saying. So the correct hinge here, as a, I don't know how this, I guess it, what if you don't hinge, it's there. I guess you want it pointed backwards there. Okay, I guess part of when you buy the stuff, you get the videos. The wrist hinge would mean you'd want that at this point pointed there. If you're into hinging the wrists a lot. Not a big fan. Keeps the club face square at impact. You'll feel the club head moving into the toe up position at waist height in the backswing. What they're saying is at waist high in the backswing, you want this toe up position. I, I have numerous videos that you don't want that. You actually want this position, which would be square, not toe up. So toe up is really wide open. So not a fan of that, but whatever. And you'll build confidence, okay. So we're getting a lot of hand uh, rotation, manipulation, that kind of thing, and we'll see. We'll see if that's good or not good. Here we go, seven iron. Just gonna swing smooth here, and try to do what it said. Oh, that went way right. <laughs> okay, it felt weird. Felt weird. Swing a, swing a little slower. Obviously, I would need more. Uh, squaring that club face up. My path wasn't bad, my face was horrible. Oops, it fell off, <laughs> it, broke. it broke real quick. We expect these types of deals with homemade products. No problem, we just gotta screw this piece in a little more. Look, make your own products at your own risk. fell off again. <laughs> I suggest tightening this down first. Okay. This piece, there you go. Get that in. And then tighten the clamp down. And then it's probably best if you just did practice swings with it. Like I'm not a big fan of this position up here, but whatever. Definitely doesn't like hitting balls, the homemade version, just yet. Okay, okay. Part of the problem with this device is that I can't see it back here. So using it hitting balls is difficult because you just, you can't see. I guess, you know, if you're doing this, that's no good. That's way open. That's better. This would probably be best if you can actually keep it a little shut, but I'm doing what the gem device is saying we should do and just hitting little shots. 
but I think just doing practice swings with it is better. The homemade versions might not be the best, but it, it's gonna give us a good idea of whether or not we should spend the $140 for the real thing. Now let's get a club. Now we got the eight iron and let's see if we hit the eight iron better than normal with that feeling in mind. Okay, that was really turning those hands over. Look at how far left that went. Now it went far. I gotta admit, 162 carry eight iron. For me, that's really pretty good. But the face was way shut. Okay, here, here's the thing I'm learning. If you have trouble squaring up the club face, then a homemade deal like this might help because I really, so yeah, I really feel the wobble if I don't square the face early, like way down here is where you're, you're starting to feel that square up, which is good because it kind of helps get the club out in front of you. So that I like, the feeling, like here, right here. And that's a good position at the top, that's fine. Take it down here and square it up, okay. But then if you're going, if you start missing way left, then what do you do? Look at that. I'm glad I didn't spend the $140. Sorry, I made it for under 20. And I believe it does the exact same thing. This is pretty cool. So if, if you have trouble leaving that club face wide open and you can't square it up, try it. 20 bucks, there you go. Saddle clamp, 3 8 plastic thing, you're good to go. A little DIY swing training aid for you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Love you guys. See you next project.